chapter 20. Tam didn't return that day. At first, Holly laughed it off. She's probably still stuffing her face. But when Tam didn't show up by nightfall or the next morning either, she began to look worried. It was the same street where you caught that mouse, wasn't it? said Holly. I had a bad feeling about that place. Varjak thought back to that strange sensation he had in returning. Maybe there was something else out there after all. You know, I had a bad feeling too. Let's go find her, said Holly, as the rain began to fall. They started in the very place where Tam left them. They followed the turning she'd gone down into the shadows, but it just led out onto another alleyway. There was no sign of Tam. Nothing, not even with Varjak's awareness. It was just an ordinary street. They ranged wider across the centre of the city, where the street cats who weren't in either of the gangs lived. None of them had seen Tam. They tried Ginger's territory next, near the concrete blocks where Holly had saved Varjak. They found some cats from Ginger's gang, sheltering from the rain. I'm looking for Tam, said Holly. Any of you seen her? They said they hadn't. Do you believe them, asked Varjak, as they headed to the park. Ginger's gang are rough, but they're honest, said Holly. If Tam ran into them, if there'd been any trouble, they'd tell us. Tam wasn't in the park either. They'd searched till twilight. They found a few scraps of food, but not any sign of Tam among the wet, dead leaves. Tired and soaked from the hard rain that fell through the day, they headed back to Holly's alleys. On their way, they met a big, stripy Tom prowling in the covered, uh, cobbled passage. Varjak recognised him at once by the slash mark on his face. He didn't look friendly. Varjak's dripping fur prickled at the sight of him, but he smiled at Holly, showing a set of sharp white teeth. Razor, said Holly. Holly, nodded the stripy Tom. Good to see you. Where's that shaggy cat you're always with? Tam, she's, I don't know where she is. Have you seen her? Razor shook his head. No, but she hasn't been near Sally Bones territory. I'm sure, for, I'm sure of that. How do you know? It's my job. He licked his paws proudly. Who's this you've got with you? He flicked his tail in Varjak's direction, but didn't look at him as if he wasn't worth wasting time over. I'm Varjak Poor, said Varjak. The Tom's tail twitched with contempt. I wasn't talking to you, he said. Varjak felt silent. Nothing to worry about, said Holly quickly. He's one of us, just a pet who got lost. Razor sniffed. Why waste your time with a pet? Come and join our gang. Our gang. You know Sally Bones will win in the end. This city is hers. Holly smiled but didn't say anything. You'll be safe from the vanishings, said Razor. Sally looks after her own. Thank you, Razor, said Holly. But you know I've never wanted to be in a gang. And I've got to look for Tam now. She began to move away. Razor stepped in in front of her, muscles rippling. Come on, Holly, he said. I've always liked you. Holly was still smiling, but Varjak could see her trying to edge away. You could be somebody in a gang, said Razor, moving closer. Moving closer, following her. You could be important. I could make you important. I don't want... Come on, insisted Razor. I'll take you to meet the boss. I'm one of the top cats now. There was a flash of fear in Holly's mustard eyes. Varjak saw it. She told you she doesn't want to, he said, without thinking. Razor turned to him. The scars on his face, face writhed, writhed like snakes. I warned you already, he growled. Slam. A hard rock paw smashed into Varjak's face. Varjak reeled, stunned and sank to the ground in, the re in, the, in a pool of rain. He wanted to get up to fight back, but his legs were like soggy paper and the world was spinning around him. Don't get in my way again, snarled Razor. His, world, his words twirled above Varjak's head like stars. One hit, that was all it took, and he didn't even see it coming. The brawny Tom turned back to Holly. 
When you've had enough of wasting your time with weak little losers and you want to see what it's like being a real cat, come and find me. He padded away, tail, head, uh, tail held high. Vardak, said Holly, when she was gone. Are you all right? Vardak shook his head. Blood trickle out, trickled out of his mouth. He wiped it away with the back of his paw. It matted on his fur. It was brave standing up to him, she said, but it was stupid. You can't win a fight with Razor. I'll beat him one day, said Varjak. You're crazy, she sighed. You've got to learn to use your brain. There's no point fighting cats like that. The best you can do is keep out of their way. I will beat him, Varjak vowed. Whoever had left those scars on Razor's face had managed it. He could do it too. You're not going to beat anyone today, Mr. Poor, said Holly. Come on, let's get looking for Tam.